Um, all right, guys, so what is Disco Base? Disco Base is a command and event handler that comes with some awesome features, such as dynamic reloading, which allows you to register updates and commands in your bot without restarting it. It also has a missing intents notifier that alerts you about any missing intents, making Discord bot development easier. You can install it in just a few seconds, which I'll demonstrate by creating some commands and buttons to show how we can use it. So let's get started. First, click on the link provided in the description, which will take you to DiscoBase's official NPM page. Here you can see all the details, features, and installation instructions. But let's close this for now because I'm going to show you everything step by step. First, I'm going to create a new folder for my bot. And then I'll open this folder in Visual Studio. Right now, this is an empty folder with nothing inside. We'll now open the terminal and run npx create disco base and press enter. After that, select yes, and it will ask you a few questions. Since we've already created a folder for the bot, I'll leave it blank. Then select yes to install the required dependencies, and yes, again, to install discord.js and mongoose. In just a few seconds, it's done. And you can see that the whole package has been set up. You can now see a lot of folders and files, but don't worry, we'll go over them soon. First, um, uh, let's set up our bot. You'll notice there's a config.json file where a lot of important settings are. But we'll start by adding the required information, like the, the bot ID and token. So let's create a new Discord bot. Uh, we'll go to the Discord developer portal, click new application, give our bot a name, and quickly create a new bot. Then we'll reset the bot token, and now we have the token for our bot. Let's go back to our package. If you see here, I haven't provided the token yet. So if I try to run it, it will give me an error. So let's add the token now. However, if I don't provide the bot ID, it will give another error. These errors are beginner friendly, guiding you on what's missing and how to fix it. So now let's add the ID as well. And when we run the bot, you can see it has started successfully. That's great. We've set up our bot in just a few seconds. Now let's move on to the SRC and commands folder. Here, you'll see all your slash commands organized in different categories. We've provided you with some folders so that your commands stay well organized, but you can also create more folders inside the commands folder to suit your needs. The same applies to prefix commands, which you can see inside the messages folder. In the slash commands folder, you can see there's a ping command, which is provided by default. You can check the syntax here, and there are many useful options for your commands. For example, if you want to register a slash command for a specific guild only and not globally, you just need to set Devonly to true and add the developer server's ID in the config where you want the command registered. And that's it. There are other options like admin only, bot permissions, user permissions, which you can see in this image and um, also on our NPM page. Now let's create a simple warn command. We'll open the moderation folder and create a new file called warn.js. As you can see in the terminal, disco base automatically detects changes. So there's no need to restart the, the bot. Now let's define slash command builder and embed builder and register a new slash command with the name, description, and the necessary permissions for both the bot and the user. We'll add user permissions for moderating members and bot permissions like send messages and embed links. Once the command is created, it will automatically be registered. Uh, let's go to our server now, and you can see the command is available. Let's run it, and as you can see, it's working fine. So now let's take a look at how you will handle interactions and events. You can see here that there's an events folder, and just like the other folders, you can see that even within this folder, there are subfolders. Um, this structure makes it more organized and easier for developers to manage. Uh, you can also create additional folders uh, inside the events folder as per your needs. Now I'll show you how to create a prefix command so you can understand how prefix commands work. And I'll also show you buttons alongside it. So I'll go to the messages folder, then navigate to the other folder. And here I'll create a file called button.js. You can also see the syntax for prefix commands here. And just like slash commands, all the command options work in prefix commands too, uh, except for devonly, which is only for slash commands. So I've created a simple button command 
And now if we go to Discord and run the command, you'll see that it responds. But when we click the button, nothing happens. And that's because we haven't handled the button interaction yet. Now let's go back to the code. And in the events folder, we'll create a file inside a buttons folder. The syntax for the events file looks something like this. So we'll use module.exports and then the event name, which in our case will be interaction create. After that, we'll have an async execute interaction function. And inside it, we'll check if the button that was clicked has an ID that matches the one we provided in the button.js file when creating the button. If it matches, it will reply with, you clicked the button. Now, when we click the button, you can see that it replies. That's great. All right, so now let's take a look at how command options work. I'll go to the button.js file. And yes, it doesn't matter whether it's a prefix command or a slash command. Command options work the same way in both. So here, I'll set owner only to true, but for that, I'll need to provide my ID in the config.json file. So I'll quickly go there and add my ID. Okay, since DiscoBase is smart, we don't need to restart the bot. Now, if I run the command, there's no issue, but if I go back to config.json and change the ID to someone else's and then try to run the command again, I won't be able to. Only the person whose ID is in the owner ID field can run it. Similarly, admin only works in the same way. Bot admins are the ones who can run specific commands. In config.json comma, there's a whole array where you can add as many admin IDs as you want. And after that, only those bot admins will be able to run those commands. So now let's see what the bot permissions and user permissions do. I'll show you an example with bot permission. User permissions work the same way, but they apply to the user running the command. For example, I'll go to the slash warn slash command and set the bot permissions to administrator. Then I'll go to discord and remove the uh, administrator permission from the bot. Now, if I try to run the command, it will tell me which permissions are needed for the bot to execute the command. And believe me, this is also a very useful feature. So now let me show you some more features. DiscoBase also provides some built-in functionalities such as a logging system. When you go to the config.json file, you'll find some options under the uh, logging category like guild join logs, guild leave logs, command logs, and error logs. Now, um, I'll go to Discord and create a category with a few channels for these different logs. I've created these four channels for different logs. Next, I'll copy the channel IDs from Discord and provide them in the config.json file. All right, now if I run any command, you can see we get a notification for every command that shows which command was run from which server at what time and by whom. Similarly, if our bot joins any guild, a notification will appear. And the same goes for when it leaves a guild. For error logs, you'll need to provide a webhook for the channel so that the bot can send errors even if it's not in that server. I'll go to the error logs channel settings, create a webhook in the integration section, then copy the webhook and paste it into the config.json file. Now, whenever an error occurs in the bot, the error will be sent to this channel. All of these features are there to ensure that you stay informed about every movement of your bot and know exactly what's happening. So now let's see how the, the dev only command works. You can see that our bot is in these two servers, but if we create a normal command, it will be registered globally for both servers. But what if we want a command to be visible only to us and not to other guilds? Disco base handles this very easily. For example, if we have a command that we only want to register for this specific server, we will copy the server's ID and then go to config.json and paste it under developer commands server ID. After that, I'll quickly create a slash command. You can create it in any folder, but I'll make it in the dev folder for better organization. Now, I've created a simple command and I'll set divonly to true, that's it. Now, if I go to the servers and check the slash commands, I can see the command I just created in the server. But if I go to the other server and check, all the other commands are showing up except for the dev only command. So you can see that for things like this, disco base is a great toolkit. So now let's check out the disco base missing intent feature. Let's see if any intent is missing. And when we run the bot, it will automatically detect that and notify us. That's cool. After that, we just need to go to index.js and provide the missing intent and that's it. And yes, Disco Base supports every command and system created in my playlists and videos. Just the stuff from index.js will go into the events folder for cleaner code. And lastly, I hope you all use this package. 
in your Discord bot journey. Also, a big thanks to Eliu, my brother, who made this package more advanced and useful by adding awesome features. I've provided the link to the server in the description. When you join, you'll find a dedicated category where you can give feedback and suggestions on how we can take this system to the next level. If you encounter any issues, you'll also get help there. And yeah, make sure to try it out. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Bye-bye, cuties.